we all have to do our part to help save the environment. That's why I always follow the three R's. The uh, reading, writing, and math? Reeking, rooting, and regurgitation? The last time I checked, I believe the three R's stood for reading, writing, and arithmetic. <laughs> oh, Phantom, even I know that arithmetic doesn't start with the letter R. Actually, I think the three R's were a singing group from the 60s. My dad has all their records. No, the three R's stand for reduce, reuse, and recycle. You see, if we reduce, reuse, and recycle our garbage, there'll be less left over to dump. And that means less pollution, which is better for the environment. Now, beyond this door lies a true wonder in our ongoing battle to keep this planet clean. Not the Museum of Garbage Receptacles. <laughs> Goodness, no. I'm saving that for the end of our tour. For now, feast your eyes on this. The Recyclotron 2000. The brand new state-of-the-art plastic recycling machine. All right. This baby comes with a stainless steel chassis, three-speed setting, and silent mode. In addition to useless but no less impressive features like rack and pinion steering and this handy cup holder here. Now then, who wants to see what the Recyclotron 2000 can do? Let's see. Uh, let's see. see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> First, you load your plastic recyclables onto the conveyor belt. Then, you start her up. The conveyor belt dumps the bottles into the compactor's jaws, where it chews them up into plastic pellets. Then, those pellets are compressed and shaped into brand new, 100% recycled pop bottles. And it didn't hurt the environment one little bit. <laughs> Next up, cafeteria grease. We'll show you how to recycle hamburger grease into a nutritious dessert. Billy, did you know that two-thirds of all soda cans sold end up in landfill sites? Then I guess throwing out one little can won't make that much of a difference, huh? Guess again. Didn't you hear Buford? It's important that we all do our part to reduce, reuse, and recycle. I'm glad you feel that way, Marcus, because Operation Cleanup is looking for volunteers. Uh, uh, Operation Cleanup volunteers get to experience the joys of reducing, reusing, and recycling as they join forces to clean up our school. <laughs> I think uh, we'd love to, Mrs. Snodgrass. Wonderful! A report to the teacher's lounge after the tour. Lydia, you volunteered us for garbage picking duty? Don't worry, how much garbage can one school produce? Perhaps a little more than you think. <laughs> <laughs> Must you overdo everything? Sorry, Phantom. What I want to know is, where are all the other Operation Cleanup volunteers? What other volunteers? We're it. Well, I guess that's it for this hallway. Next up, the cafeteria. All <laughs> done, Phantom. I've littered the school with 23 bags of garbage. Excellent! Another 77 and you should be all done. Oh. But why don't you take a break from cluttering up the school? Do you mean it? Of course! You can come down here and clean up the boiler room for a nice change of pace. Ow! Oh. I can't believe that one school made all this garbage. <laughs> I can believe it. What I can't believe is that everyone else in this school gets to be outside while we're stuck inside cleaning up their mess. I mean, just look at this trash. Fish heads, moldy cabbage, ugh, curdled milk. Where are you going with my lunch? Oh, sorry, Fred. 
Well, at least it's nice to know we're doing our part to help the environment. Foolish children! Who cares about garbage? You simply throw it away and let someone else deal with it! I care. Garbage is a rat's best friend. If that is next to you, Phantom. Just get rid of it! Ah. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Stuffing the garbage in this old coal chute is a great idea. Yeah, we'll just hide it in here until we can figure out what to do with it. Uh, there are many alternatives to simply dumping garbage. Uh, for instance, at the turn of the century, many small towns had public pig pens where pigs were fed raw or cooked trash. Ew! That's disgusting! I'm just trying to point out that we can solve this problem with a little creative thinking. And besides, I don't think that old coal chute can handle all this garbage. Don't worry, Marcus. There's plenty of room. Yes! All right! You're Adam the best. Out of mine. My words exactly! All this fuss over protecting the environment, it's ridiculous! Garbage is garbage! You throw it away, end of story, right? Fredicus, what are you looking at? Uh... Those kids think they can dump their garbage on me? It actually, Phantom, it's not all their garbage. Here's our TV dinner trays from last Thursday and your drool aid container. Silence! The fools don't realize that they've given me the tools to seal their fate. If they won't deal with their garbage, then it will deal with them. I'll show them what a monster garbage can be! <laughs> Behold! My most magnificent fiendish creation of all lately! Those children will tremble before the might of... Garbicus! <laughs> well, somebody needs to brush their teeth. Now, my precious, odorous Garbicus, get up there and teach those kids a lesson they'll never forget! <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? Well, I finished delivering the empty cans to the recycling room. Great! I guess we're all done. Guess again. Oh! oh. Boy, doesn't garbage ever stop growing? You'd think people would be smarter about what they throw away. How can people leave stuff like this lying around? It's so gross. created a garbage monster, Lydia, but we can't keep running away from it. Uh, on the other hand, uh, running might be just a thing. There's no way we have enough garbage bags for that. You're getting some in your mouth. Don't you have work to do? Uh, right, Phantom? 
<laughs> How ironic that Garbicus, the garbage monster they helped create, now pursues them! And actually, Phantom, you created Garbicus, and it was mostly your garbage to begin with. Um... Oh! Oh, this isn't right! Ruby, Lydia, no running in the hall. That goes for you, too. <laughs> yeah, whatever your name is. Why, thank you. Nice boy. <laughs> he must have come straight from gym class. We're back where we started. Look, you can see the trail of slime that thing left behind. According to my mini mega mind, this slime is composed of particles of rotten apples, moldy peanut butter sandwiches, and sweaty gym socks. Just the kind of garbage you'd expect to find at Flying Rhino Junior High. Precisely. Someone must have reconfigured the molecules of the garbage we dumped down the cool chute. And there's only one maniacal genius I know with the ability to do that. <laughs> that disgusting monster is right behind us! What do we do? <laughs> Come on, everybody. It's time to fight garbage with garbage. Ready, aim, fire! into the boys' locker room while Ruby and I run a little errand. lab collecting worms. Now we have everything we need. <laughs> Quick, turn on all the showers and make it hot. <laughs> now, Ruby, dump your worms onto the creature. <laughs> the worms in the water are breaking it down. <laughs> is decomposing. Exactly. Worms eat and expel their own weight every day. So even a small bucket of red worms will yield pounds of rich, sweet-smelling compost, which can in turn be used as fertilizer. But it could take months for these worms to finish off this monster. Come on, you lazy worms! Get to work or we're going fishing! <laughs> Simpletons! Do you actually believe that Garbicus is so easily defeated? Well, I guess that's that. Huh? Yes, I can! <laughs> this thing. We only broke down its organic parts, the parts that could decompose naturally. And now we have to deal with its aluminum and plastic components. Doody-doo, ah! ah! doody-doo-doo, la-dee-da. -doo, 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 -doo. 
on a little something. Let's see how they do against the most indestructible beast of all! <laughs> Ew! Look at all that yucky mess. Well, that's the end of that thing. is the hardest garbage of all to get rid of. Uh, nobody knows how long it takes to break down. Hundreds, uh, maybe thousands of years. Ah! Quick, in here! Uh -huh. Huh? Ah. Cyclotron 2000! Secret password. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sorry, that's not it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's eating the plastic. Uh -oh. Time to take out. So long, garbage boy. Wow! Look at it trash that trash. You mean recycle those recyclables? Huh? Now we can return all these bottles for a nice, tidy deposit. <laughs> no! Don't be sad, Phantom. You may have lost Garbagus, but you still have me. No! <laughs> if Operation Cleanup has taught us anything, it is this. Recycling is important, but it can only work if everyone does their part to reduce and reuse their garbage. Bravo, Lydia! It's time everybody got with the program! <laughs> and now then, to the recycling room! One more for the files of the Flying Rhino. <laughs> Not only did those pesky children defeat my mighty Garbacus, but they got my deposit, too! 
I have something that'll cheer you right up, Phantom. <gasps> I call it the glory of Phantom. It even smells a bit like you. Oh, it's disgusting! Uh oh. What have you done? Get away! Get away! Shoo! Shoo! Oh, oh. oh, Phantom! She has a little crush on you! Oh, 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 oh! Ah! 